For all those people out there who are my age or even older, you surely remember the arcade games when they first came out would pay 10 cents to play a game. Then consoles started coming out and we could play games at home and this changed the way we live. But many of us, including me till today, have a nostalgia of the games we used to play and sometimes we wish we can play them again. Today, I want to show you how with a bit of money you can create your own system at home to play all these games again. The solution is this, the Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi have been around for about six years. In fact, this, okay, I'll take it. This model here is the Raspberry Pi 3B+. Now, what's amazing about this little device is how flexible it is. There are thousands of things you can do with it. But today, we are going to use it to install an OS which is called RetroPie. RetroPie is a system which allows you to play any game you wish and another great thing about it is you can use any controller you wish. Here I have a few of the consoles which changed our life. I have the Atari 2600, the Super Nintendo, which was a great hit. And then the PlayStation, the Sony PlayStation 1, which changed the gaming console world as we know it. These are just a few which we got from the Vintage Computer Club Malta, which we tank from here. But after these home consoles were very popular, then the portable gaming consoles like this one started to come out. For me, this was the starter, this was the game maker, the Nintendo Game Boy. This version was a monochromatic screen, it didn't even use to light, and then they started upgrading them to color screen and backlight. Obviously, but if you, like me, wish to play some old games you might have played over a period of time on different consoles, it is impossible to buy all the consoles again. One, they're difficult to find, and two, it will cost you a fortune. Today, we're gonna see a system how with a little bit of money, you can play all the games that were ever launched from the PlayStation 1 backwards. The device itself on its own costs around 30 euros, but uh, we suggest that you buy the pack. The pack will include a case, which will keep the Raspberry Pi safe, also a power supply and a micro SD card, which is the hard drive of your computer, which is big enough for your operating system, which is a RetroPie, and then the ROMs you will download. Once it is done, all you have to do is connect to any TV or monitor you have at home, because it has a standard HDMI port. Then all you need to do is find some controllers you have running around at home of PlayStation or Xbox, or even an old controller you don't use anymore, and play at your heart's content. The internet is full of ROMs you can download for free. As you know, gadgets have stopped for a summer break from TV, but we don't stop. We carry on online. So go to our website, gadgetsmortal.com, for all the latest reviews and find us on Facebook. Game over.